Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, so this makes people uncomfortable. Not just because I'm really socially awkward, but because people see this and think they're about to get yelled at for something. But when Luther talks about the seventh commandment, thou shalt not steal, he doesn't see it this way. He writes, it behooves us to do no more than to instruct and reprove with God's word, but to check such open wantonness, there is need of the princes and government who themselves would have eyes and courage to establish and maintain order in all manner of trade and commerce, lest the poor be burdened and oppressed nor they themselves be loaded with other men's sins. See, your pastor is not the sin police. It's not his job to go digging around in your life or your home or your past to find things to make you feel ashamed or guilty. It's not his job to come up with something in your life to convict you of. It's his job to teach. We teach the law in all of its truth and purity. And then we trust that you'll bring your sins to us so that we can reprove them so that we can call them wrong. Which sounds kind of crazy, except you know that they're only going to be forgiven. Faith trusts that Jesus will actually forgive our deepest, darkest sins. And so we can bring them forward. We don't need to leave them buried all over the place. We can carry them forward knowing that when our pastor hears our confession, he will speak God's peace to us. That's a great joy. We know that our sin will be called wrong, but we also know that it will be called forgiven. But that is terrible for good order. You see, forgiveness of sins is way too messy for good order. If only thing you want to have is everybody behaving themselves like good boys and good girls, the only thing that you want is good order, people protected from other people sinning against them. The last thing in the whole world you want to do is up and call sinners righteous, absolve them without any penance, just say, Christ died for you and all of your sins are forgiven. That is way too messy for good order. So God establishes the government because good order is important. It's the job of the police to create good order. It's the job of the police to dig up your sins and punish them. But it's the job of your pastor to teach the law in all of the fullness that the government wouldn't even dare to because of how convicting it is. Not holding back one tiny little bit of all of the law in all of its truth in all of its fierceness. And then call it forgiven for the sake of Christ who bled and died for you to bear the punishment of the sins that we have all committed. The great hope that we have in keeping these two kingdoms the government to establish good order, and the church, the clergy, the priests, the pastors to forgive sins, is that whenever you see one of these, you don't have to be afraid because you know that while it will speak the law, it will always forgive your sins and give you peace. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. HigherThings.org slash support. Give today.